Why do we resist comfort? Why do we resist peace? Rest is war, and war is our biology. That's true. But it doesn't mean we have to act. Close your eyes and breathe. Now open your eyes and pause the chaos of life. Allow yourself to drift into this world with me. Let go of the stress that holds you down and be free. This journey starts as every journey does. The place where the water touches the land. But my eyes were caught by the setting sun. A warm welcome into this world. And so I began my trek across the land. I didn't know where I wanted to build yet, but I knew I wanted to go somewhere cozy with the perfect vibe. But as you all know, finding a place to build is no easy task. YouTube is telling me that a majority of you are not subscribed. If you're watching and you're enjoying, please subscribe so that the chill never ends. I decided to make a quick stop at Outpost and recycle what I collected. Obviously, this early into wipe, there's no guarantee that I'll keep what I recycled, but it's worth a try. I laid down this box to temporarily store my loot while I searched. And as I went deeper into the desert area, I continued looting. While roaming around in this area, I felt a sense of calmness. There were a few large groups that dominated this area, and it seemed like they wiped out everyone that was beneath them. 
And here I was, trying to find a corner to live out my wiping, hopefully undisturbed. And that's when I discovered this tiny plot of land right next to the ocean. And so I began building. As soon as the moment felt right, I made my way over to the box I used to store away my loot. I grabbed everything and I made a run for it. At this point, I was committed to this location, so I stepped up my farm and started collecting much more loot in hopes of expanding. I noticed that the area didn't spawn a lot of stone, so I decided I would upgrade directly to metal and use the stone to honeycomb. It was an idea at first, but I set it as a goal and worked towards it. Any part of the bunker 
that I was planning to upgrade to stone, I upgraded directly to metal, and this took some time, but overall, it was worth it. While roaming around, I came across the space. The doors were open. To me, it seemed like a trap, but I didn't have much on me, so I took a chance and went inside. It wasn't much, but it was enough for me to take home. And on my way out, I realized why this looting process was so smooth. It was because this little guy was watching my back. With my new tools, I decided to get enough wood that would last me a while and would allow me to upgrade. The server was far from asleep. There were people roaming the water and others actively raiding. In my corner, it was relatively calm, but a couple squares out, the server was fully alive. I did spot a boat not too far across the water. I decided farming the ocean would be a great way to expedite this process.
farming the ocean wasn't as comfortable as it usually is. This tugboat was constantly in rotation. didn't get to loot as much as I wanted out in the water, so instead I chose to farm a road, and I was surprised by the quality of what I found. As a solo, this is my preferred way to collect resources in the early period of a wipe. ready to expand, so I grabbed my tools and I began. In the middle of building, I heard something. So I upgraded my twig to stone, even though I was planning to upgrade it to metal, but I'd rather stone than destroyed. Sorry dude, I don't understand. Eventually, they left. And I continued from where I left off, just hoping 
that they weren't going to come back with rockets. Thank you so much for watching, and a special thanks to my YouTube members. I appreciate you all very much. And as you've already figured out, the story has only just begun. So I'll see you this time next week for part two. Much love and stay chill. You've been watching an Orange Dream production.